let's define the governing equations that we want to solve. Highlight general. This setting, pressure base versus density based, affects not the mathematical model, but how the mathematical model is solved. And we'll leave that as, as default. We want to solve the steady version of the conservation equation. So that's the default. This doesn't affect um, this particular problem. And by default, you can see that the 2D Cartesian version of the conservation equations are, are turned on. Whereas we want to solve the conservation equations in the cylindrical coordinates, and so click on axisymmetric. And that's a big change in the mathematical model. It's just one click. It's a big change in the mathematical model. And to see that, I'll go back to our equations. Okay, so here I have our equations alongside uh, Fluent, and I'll pull this over here. So when I clicked on axis symmetric, it switched, you know, it says, oh, you want to solve the cylindrical coordinate version of the conservation equations, and effectively the equations that it's going to solve are the ones that we looked at. So it's one click here, it's a big change in the, in the governing equations. And if I expand this, um, under models, energy is turned off. And we saw that for incompressible flow, we don't need to turn on the energy equation. And if you have the laminar version of the conservation equations, which is, which is what we have here. So nothing to do under models. And the only thing remaining is to define the constants in the governing equations, rho and mu. And that you do under materials. So I'll expand materials, highlight fluid, right click, and say new. And I can give it an appropriate name. I'll call it, you know, give it a facetious name. I'll call it Go Big Red. That's Cornell's nickname. And the density we set to 1, and the coefficient of viscosity we set to 2 e to the power of minus 3. And that'll give us the, the Reynolds number of 100 that we want. And I'll say yes here. OK, please confirm property values, and we'll do that. So that you do by going to cell zone conditions and going to the flow domain and double clicking on it. And you see that the material being used is air and not go big red. So once I change that now, the the you know the the values of rho and mu being used in the flow domain are the ones we want. So say okay. And I'll maximize this. That completes the definition of the governing equations. Um, let's move on to defining the boundary conditions.